Welcome to another episode of AKA, Ask Kevin Anything. Here's our question of the day. What issues should be considered if my father wants to add my name to the title of his principal residence? First of all, kudos to dad for taking a step towards estate planning and to you for asking a great question. Adding a family member's name to the title of a property, typically real estate, bank, or brokerage accounts, has been called the poor man's will. By gifting partial ownership in an asset to someone else, the owner directs who will receive it at his death without a will or going through probate. While this approach may seem simple, it can create additional complications and expense for the heir. First, if the property is gifted, there is the potential issue of the family members, creditors, or even ex-spouses coming after the property. There are also potential problems related to existing or future mortgages, including reverse mortgages. Certain decisions could also affect Medicaid planning. Secondly, there are tax consequences when a child receives property, even a partial interest from a parent. It is considered a gift and the child will keep the basis of the parents. For example, Let's assume your father paid $50,000 for his residence and today is worth $500,000. If he were to give 50% of the residence to you, your basis in a property would be $25,000. So then if your father were to pass away, you could sell the property, which you now own outright, but you would have a taxable gain of $225,000. His half would receive a step up Yours would not, as it is a gift. But if your father had placed a property in a trust or allowed it to go through probate, you would have received the full step up in basis at fair market value as of the date of his death. As a result, you would be responsible for the capital gains tax for any appreciation that occurred after his date of death when you sell it. As you can see, the second scenario is much more favorable from a tax perspective. However, every family situation is different and there may be variables that override the tax treatment. Please remember that a gift tax return may need to be filed for the year that the gift is made, at which point an appraisal should be considered. There are other issues that including additional tax scenarios that I haven't even touched on here. The point is that everyone's situation is different and there are many factors that should be discussed with your advisor and attorney. Thank you for watching. Please send us your questions. For any question that we use on, the, on a future segment, we will give $100 to a local food pantry or other local food organization. So together, we can help our community.